Diamonds, those bright and coveted stones, have been symbols of luxury, power, and beauty throughout history. From exclusive jewelry to the most desired engagement rings, these crystals have always captured our attention. Every day, tons of rocks are processed worldwide to extract these valuable crystals, accumulating more than 20 million carats annually, which is equivalent to more than $100 billion, a truly staggering figure. And it's no wonder, a single diamond can reach a value of more than a million dollars. Just imagine having one in your possession. You would be a millionaire in the blink of an eye. But have you ever wondered how they are formed? How does a simple rock inside the earth transform into something so valuable? Today we will travel to Africa, home to some of the largest and oldest diamond mines on the planet. Here we will discover how these crystals are extracted from hundreds of meters underground, how they are separated from the rocks, and how, finally, they become the brilliant diamonds we admire so much. So, get ready, because we are going to discover the impressive transformation process of thousands of diamonds. Let's begin! Step number one, the formation of diamonds. Diamonds are born in an extreme environment, more than 150 kilometers below the Earth's surface, in the mantle. Here, the conditions are almost unimaginable. Temperatures exceed 1,000 degrees Celsius, and the pressure is so intense that carbon, the element that is the basis of all life, transforms into diamond, one of the hardest and most brilliant substances on the planet. The process of forming a diamond is a natural phenomenon so delicate that it requires almost perfect precision. Pressure and temperature must reach an exact balance. If this balance is minimally altered, the carbon would turn into graphite, a much softer and less precious form than diamond. This meticulous process takes millions of years, which means that the diamonds we admire today could be older than the dinosaurs. These gems go through geological eras to shine in modern showcases. The key for diamonds to reach the Earth's surface lies in kimberlite, a volcanic rock that serves as a natural capsule for these precious stones. During a volcanic eruption, kimberlite is ejected towards the surface, carrying diamonds with it. Without this natural vehicle, diamonds would remain hidden in the depths of the mantle, inaccessible to us. Despite being catapulted upwards by the force of the eruption, the diamonds remain locked inside the kimberlite, waiting to be discovered. This is where the amazing journey begins from the bowels of the earth to becoming symbols of beauty and luxury. But how do we extract these diamonds? Let's see. Step number two, extraction of diamonds. Now that the diamonds are on the surface, but still trapped in the kimberlite, it's time to release them. But how is it done? The extraction process is as impressive as it is delicate. The extraction of diamonds is one of the most spectacular processes in the industry, and it all starts with a big explosion. That's right, you heard it. In the mines, the first thing is to drill the rocks that contain kimberlite. To do this, huge drills pierce the earth, creating deep holes, some over 100 meters deep. Once the holes are drilled, explosives are placed inside them, precisely loaded to ensure the explosion is controlled. Imagine what it feels like to be near one of these explosions. The force of the explosion is so imposing that, in the blink of an eye, huge blocks of rock fragment into thousands of pieces, revealing the kimberlite fragments that contain the diamonds. The explosion not only pulverizes the rock, it also prepares the ground for the next phase, collecting the fragments, which are loaded with kimberlite and diamonds. Huge trucks are responsible for collecting these fragments and transporting them quickly to the processing plant. Although at first glance it may seem like they are carrying piles of rocks, each truck can contain thousands of diamonds. At this point, the rocks are ready to move on to the next step in the process, where the real magic will begin, separating those diamonds from the rock. Let's see how it's done. Step number three, separation of diamonds. Once tons of kimberlite arrive at the plant, the fascinating process of separating the diamonds from the rock begins. But how do we manage to identify those small, shiny crystals in the midst of all the mixture of minerals and rocks? This is where the magic of science comes in. First, the kimberlite undergoes a massive crushing process, where huge crushers turn the rock into ultra-small fragments. This meticulous process releases the valuable diamond particles. Afterwards, these crushed fragments are immersed in a chemical bath, where a special solution dissolves all residues, leaving only the diamonds. 
This happens because, thanks to their hardness, diamonds are the only material that can resist this bath. However, after the bath, there are still some impurities like mud and dust, which must be removed before moving on to the next step. To do this, the mixture is passed through gigantic separation equipment. This equipment acts as massive sieves, eliminating the lighter particles and leaving the diamond crystals. Thus, the diamonds emerge from among the impurities, ready for the next step in their transformation. Once we have separated the diamonds from the kimberlite and the mud, the real transformation process begins. It's time to turn those rough diamonds into the dazzling jewels we all know. Step number four, cleaning and classification of diamonds. Now, the really interesting part begins. The next step is to clean and classify them, and it's not a simple process. Diamonds, although they appear immaculate, must undergo a new meticulous cleaning to ensure they are completely free of impurities. First, the raw diamonds are washed in large specialized machines that use pressurized water and sometimes chemical solutions. This removes any traces of dirt, mud, or dust trapped in the crystals. Imagine the precision required. A simple scratch could cost thousands of dollars. Once the diamonds are completely clean, the key part arrives. Classification. How is it done? Diamonds are grouped by size, shape, color, and quality. This is where the expert eye of gemologists comes into play, as the larger stones with fewer impurities are the most valuable. Although part of the work is manual, advanced technologies such as X-rays or laser scanners are also used to identify the most valuable crystals without touching them. With the diamonds clean and classified, it's time to take them to the next level, shape them, and make them shine like never before. Let's move on to the next step. Step number five, cutting and polishing of diamonds. Now comes the most delicate moment, transforming the diamonds into the brilliant stones we know. But beware, this step is critical. A bad cut can cause their value to plummet. At this point, the value of the diamond multiplies exponentially. To begin, the diamonds are cut according to their classification and the type of jewelry to be created. Cutting experts use precision saws and sometimes even lasers. These tools allow the crystal to be divided into manageable pieces and given the perfect shape. Imagine how complicated it is. A fraction of a millimeter can change the brilliance and value of the stone. It's not just the shape that matters, but also the facets. The more facets the diamond has, the more light it will reflect and the more dazzling it will be. Once cut, the diamond goes to the polishing phase, where it really begins to shine. Using rotating wheels and a special powder, the polishers work with extreme precision, ensuring that each facet of the diamond shines with all its intensity. This is the point where the magic happens. The diamond now shines, showing all its color and clarity at its best. And now, we have it ready. A brilliant and perfectly cut diamond, but there is still a crucial step before it can shine in the jewels. Let's see it. Step number six, final classification and evaluation. After the diamonds are polished, one of the most important moments arrives, the final classification. This is where it is determined if a diamond is worthy of shining in the most exclusive jewels. The experts put on their magnifying glass and begin the thorough inspection. They look for microscopic imperfections, known as inclusions, that can reduce the value of the stone. A small detail can make a difference. This process is based on the four C's, cut, clarity, color, and carrot. Each aspect is evaluated with precision to ensure that only the best diamonds reach the jewelry store windows. And if you think that's all, there's still more. Some diamonds go through authenticity tests, ensuring they are natural and not imitations. Only the most authentic and perfect ones reach the jewelry stores. With the final classification completed, these dazzling diamonds are ready to take the next step. Become the jewels we all admire. Step number seven distribution and transformation into jewelry. And now, finally, the diamonds are ready to shine in all their splendor. But before reaching the jewelry stores, there is a crucial step. They must be transported with the utmost care and security. Imagine this, armored vehicles equipped with state-of-the-art technology transport the diamonds to their final destination, while a highly specialized team ensures they arrive without any setbacks. We are talking about diamonds worth millions. Did you know that, in some cases, diamonds are shipped by plane to ensure they arrive quickly and without problems? From the factories, where they are polished and classified, to the jewelry stores where they are transformed into the jewels we know.
rings, earrings, necklaces, and much more. The jewelers, with their skill and specialized tools, set the diamonds in precious metals such as gold, platinum, and silver, ensuring that each jewel shines and reflects light in the best possible way. And the destination of these diamonds is as diverse as it is fascinating, from the luxury of the most exclusive stores to private collectors who treasure these precious stones as true works of art. It's amazing to think about everything that happens behind each diamond, from the depths of the earth to the brightest showcases. To finish, tell us, have you ever had the luxury of seeing a diamond in person? Are you surprised by everything that happens before it reaches the showcases? Leave your answer in the comments. And if this video has surprised you, don't forget to like it and subscribe to discover more fascinating processes.